Kenwehi Alhaji Ahmed Tijani Mohammed Anaje was born on the 29th June 1974 into the family of Mrs. Shefiat Mohammed Anaje and late Alhaji Mohammed Aliu Anaje, the then district head Onobobanyi of Okenwe. He attended Sheifuddin Primary School, Okenwe, where he obtained his first school living certificate in 1983 and obtained his West African School Certificate from Ibira Muslim Community College. Okenwe in Okene local government area in 1993. In 1995, Alhaji Ahmed Tijani Mohammed Anaje was enlisted into the Nigerian army as 39 regular intakes. During his military service, he enhanced his academic status and obtained diploma in applied psychology from the University of Jos. Following the demise of the first Uhi of Okenwe Okene, His Royal Highness Alhaji Yakubu Abdurrahim Yusuf, who died on 27th February 2021, a vacuum was created. Hence, a regent Alhaji Ibrahim Ige Obaro was appointed by the Kogi State Government on the recommendation of the Kingmakers on May 10th, 2021, to fill the vacant position in accordance with the enabling law pending the election or appointment of a successor. Alhaji Ahmed Tijani Mohammed Anaje, having been considered worthy to serve in his community, was beckoned at and was appointed as the new Ohi of Okenwe Okene on the 18th of October 2021 by His Excellency Alhaji Yahya Adozabelo, the Executive Governor of Kogi State. For the records, he was on terminal leave before his retirement as a military officer when his appointment came and finally retired early 2022. The retired but not tired Alhaji Ahmed Tijane Mohammed Anaje was presented with the staff of office as the paramount ruler of first class status as the new Ohi of Okenwehi on 5th March 2022 by Governor Yahya Bello after the state government considered it necessary to separate this tool into Ohi of Okenwehi and Ohi of Okene. After his appointment, Alhaji Ahmed Tijane Mohammed Anaje set up a 17 man Uhi of Okenwehi Advisory Council to assist him in his decision making. Indeed, the one year of the reign of the Uhi of Okenwehi has witnessed many unprecedented achievements as his enthronement was welcomed with the discovery of substances suspected to be a crude oil in four wells within a locality very close to his palace in Aboga area in Aboguzuja ward of Okene local government area. Investigations are still on to establish its commercial quantity. Within his one year on the throne, the Ohi of Okenwehi was again assigned to lead the Kogi state contingent to Mecca during the 2022 Holy Pilgrimage as the people of Okenwehi showered praises on the state governor Alhaji Yahya Adozabelo for giving their son such a rare privilege. Upon his return from Mecca, the Council of Ulamao of Nigeria deemed the Ohi of Okenwehi fit to serve as the patron of the council for Kogi Centra. In his quest of equipping himself with more knowledge towards solving issues, the Ohi of Okenwehi received a certificate of attendance of the Anti-Corruption Academy of Nigeria, Aiken, for attending a two-day workshop on art and practice of system integrity and value governance as a panacea for carbon corruption for local government officials in Kogi State, organized by Aiken in collaboration with the Value Plus Creation and Data Technology Managers at the Glasshouse, Lokoja. On the 10th of June 2022, he laid the foundation of the fencing of the roadside of a popular market in Kogi Centra, Ohumanaka, which was initiated by him. The project has since been completed. His Royal Highness Ahmed Tijani Mohammed Anaje facilitated the perimeter fencing of Akokobe Cemetery by Honorable Tijani Damisa, which is about to be completed and has consistently ensured that the Ageva and Akokobe Cemeteries in Okemwe District are kept bush free through consistent clearing and through the use of herbicides. Meanwhile, the Okemwe General Hospital is not left out in his plans. Streetlights 
have been installed in various streets in Okenwe. This is made possible by Aboga Youth Forum after a series of consultation with the group by His Royal Highness. During his one year on the throne, a new chief imam was peacefully chosen to replace the late chief imam of Okenwe Central Mosque. Also, some deputies, Naibis, were also chosen to assist the imam in a peaceful atmosphere. It is noteworthy that the community has witnessed peace for the past one year under his reign. This has been consistently facilitated by the committee set up by the Ohi of Okenwehi, who holds monthly prayers at his palace. The Christians hold dears every second Wednesdays of the month, while the Muslims hold dears every first Sunday of the month. Within his one year on the throne, Cultural festivals such as Ekwechi, Ebe, and Echane were peacefully celebrated through the various instruments that the Ohi of Okenwehi put in place. His reign witnessed the creation of Ohi of Okene Stool, construction of some feeder roads in Okenwe district, while a medical laboratory close to the General Hospital Okenwe, built by Honorable Tijani Damisa, is about to be commissioned. The new hospital in Upogoro, brought by Honorable Ododo, also came into existence during his reign. Work is also ongoing in building a new town hall at Ozuja, Okenwe, powered by Honorable Tijani Damisa during this record period, under review. Some dignitaries, including the Vice Chancellor, Confluence University of Science and Technology, Osara, Professor Salau Sadiku, some kingmakers, and members of his advisory committee, has this to say about the personality of the Ohi of Okenwehi, His Royal Highness Alhaji Ahmed Tijani Mohammed Anaje. Well, I would uh, talk about his reign from the perspective of my interaction with him. Um, Right from when he was uh, nominated, uh, we um, had some interaction. An interaction because of uh, my primordial relationship with him um, and also the fact that I had a very good relationship with his late uh, father who was uh, the then district head of Okemwe. Um, and he easily comes by as a very amiable character and a very serious-minded uh, uh, leader. Um, he has uh, demonstrated this in many ways. In fact, when he was uh, um, finally coronated, he paid a visit to Conference University of Science and Technology, Osara, being one of the, um, the traditional rulers of the immediate catchment area of the, um, of the university. And um, he also acquitted himself with what we are doing, um, what we are out to achieve, and indeed, I even took him and his entourage to uh, decide where our permanent structures um, are being constructed now. Um, he identifies uh, with the, uh, the objective of the university, and I think that so far, the entire Okenwe community, and uh, indeed the entire uh, people of Kogi Central, are uh, really, really uh, proud of His Excellency's uh, choice of uh, him as the Ohio of Okemwe. Well, um, whether we like it or not, Okemwe and, um, and Okene, because they are now separated, are the, the um, centers of uh, activities of Kogi Central. And I know that he's going to have his hands full, especially now that uh, we are entering into uh, the season of politicking and um, political activities. Uh, my advice is that uh, he should try and maintain this neutrality that he has maintained so far. He remains non-aligned. Um, he looks at issues objectively and he looks, he takes decision on facts of the matter that he should maintain that posture. Um, with that, he has already started distinguishing himself as an enviable leader in Kogi Central. My name is Engineer Professor Salau Sadeku. Even before we go into personality issue, we want to start with where, is, where he was born into, Okenwe District. You see, this 
justice and the justice. God give leader to people what they desire, the type of leadership they desire. Uh, we thank God for the life of, our, of His Royal Highness, Elijah and Ahmed Muhammad Ali Anaji. And we thank God for His health, good health and protection. Okay, as the cradle of the modern Ibra race has been very, very lucky with leadership. And we believe our ancestors planted that seed which has germinated and with the new generation who have been watering it. So from when you come to Okenwe district, from world head to district head, and now to Ohi, a first class paramount ruler. I don't think there's any this that has had it so good. This depends on the type of leadership God has been giving us. And his has crowned the whole leadership cycle of our Kenwood district. You see, since his accession to this throne, in fact, we have witnessed so many things, so many positive developments. First and foremost, peace. Because without peace, there can be no any development. He's a man of peace. He's a God sent man. A man who accommodates everybody, both whether you are, he doesn't want enough to know whether you're a Christian, whether you're a pagan, whether you're a Muslim. His is that Okenwe is one. And whatever is within Okenwe belongs to him. And he wants the best for everybody, every subject. And this is why he's making a remarkable progress within this one year. My, our prayer, not my prayer, the prayer of our, of our ancestors that brought him on board. And those of us living, we wish him a very long life and long reign. When we say reign, from one generation, one, no, I'm old now. He is a young man and we pray that he will be older than us so that he can achieve and deliver to us the message God has sent him to deliver for us and the activities God has given uh, come on him to carry out for Okenwe district, Okenwe people and if possibly he would have learned as a whole. I am Prince Shedo Jekwa Ibrahim, an adversary member, uh, council member of the of Okenwe. And, uh, do I say a retired journalist? No. I mean, when, once you are a journalist, it's only a, 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 a journalist and the editor in chief of the Become News, a popular newspaper in Cook State. My name is Honorable Eo Ajanako, one of the members of Ohi Council of Kingmakers, and at the same time, a member of his advisory council. The Ohi of Okenwe, his reign for one year has witnessed many unprecedented achievements in the community that deserves accolades. His enthronement was welcomed with the discovery of substances suspected to be crude oil in four wells within a locality very close to the palace in Abuga area in Abuga Ozuja ward of Okene LGA. Investigations are still on to establish its commercial quantity. It is my fervent prayer that Allah grant him more wisdom, good health, long life, and guidance in his continued services to Almighty God and humanity. I am Daoud Ibrahim Abubakar, one of the Uhi Kingmakers, and at the same time a member of Uhi Council Advisor. His appointment to our district is a blessing from God. This is how God has destined him to be our first class lawyer chief today in the Okenwe district. My prayer is that he should serve this community more than 100 years so that others coming behind will learn from his uh, wisdom, sense of direction, and his humility to, human, to humankind. Okenwe is blessed with our present His Royal Highness, we hear for Kenwa. And his 
really galvanizing the youth, telling them what is good for the community, what is good for their own future. He used his military experience to teach them what they should be doing and how to respect. You know, military command respect very well. This is impacting on our youth. If you see a problem so mighty like uh, Mount Grimajero, when you come to him, he will digest it and you will be fully satisfied. His knowledge, his experience is now helping the community and the youth are now very happy about him. Once he say fool, the whole youth will gather around. My name is Abu Salam Shwai. Let me give a brief background of who Al Haji Tijena Ahmad Al Haji is. It's the son of Al Haji Muhammad Al Haji, who was the honorable bank of Okemwe okay, before his demise. Died not quite three years back, not up to three years now. And the son, who hitherto was a military officer, was invited to come and assume the position of Ujofuke. As if he was with his dad when he was an upper band of Okeme. Because if he had following the full step, of his father. Since he came, Alhamdulillah, he has been trying to maintain peace between Okemwe community and Uberira community. He's a way, he's a bridge builder. He do he. Inshallah, development will continue to come his way. That development has already started. Apart from the unity, he is also achieving development. People are because of him coming to invest in the community. Somebody is thinking go home. Okay, bury a ground. So yes. if they go there to bury the roof and water to wash their hands. All these are coming up to his table. He by virtue of the fact that he's an ex student of Ibrahim Muslim and by virtue of his position is a member of Board of Governors of Ibrahim Muslim Community College. And we are seeing his impact making sure that the standard of the school he attended that time is returned to the college. My prayer for him is long life and sound health while on the throne. The more achievements should come his way. We want that Ibrahim Muslim College to become a campus of a university under his tenure. As a visionary royal father, he has lots of plans for the development of the community. For instance, he is presently in touch with some stakeholders to establish a palm tree plantation and palm oil mill to restore the lost glory of Okorangwe in Okenwe district. He is also in touch with some good Samaritans from the community who have signified their interest in renovating his alma mater, Sheifuddin Primary School, Okenwe. They also plan to fence the compound, construct borehole, as well as public toilet. Also, His Royal Highness Al Haji Ahmed Tijani Mohammed Anaje has set up an educational committee to be inaugurated soon to assist in ensuring quality education for the young ones in the community. At this juncture, let us hear from the horse's mouth the Ohi of Okemwehi, His Royal Highness. Ahmed Tijani Mohammed Anaje. Well, before saying anything, I I thank God Almighty. And uh, I after give glory to God Almighty, I thank all my family for them giving me a full total support because a tree cannot make a, a forest. And after that, I could have also give thanks to the clan I came from, which is Aswe, if it was before. But now, I have a new clan where I belong to, which is Okenwehi. That is my new clan now, of which I use the opportunity to thank uh, all the entire Okenwehi for them giving me total support 
for the little achievement we have already achieved so far within this uh, one year because without them giving me support we won't be able to achieve anything so for that reason i thank all the entire okemui governor yahaya dozabelo we really thank him for the support he has been giving to the entire okemui because there is no any time we run to him we seek any assistance from his office he do render the assistance to the entire okemui and those people that surrounding him especially the accountant general he also be there to give total support and the request from okemui to his office he would use his own maximum effort to render the any assistance to the whole entire okemui it's not the only person we still have a engineer abubakar ohere and the honorable commissioner uh, did that there are many of them that whenever we cry to them they will be there to and uh, listen to us and more so all the the children of uh, okemwehi especially those on the diaspora whenever we call them for any assistance for the development of our community they do come down and assist on because there are so many projects that we have been achieved within this just one year in throne it is because of their total support like uh, honorable tijani damisa and we have a uh, alaji haruna ozomata salihu and then uh, we have a uh, abdurahim uh, amuda and then uh, we still have a uh, uh, doctor ozomata there are so many of them and including the ODA present general that we normally call a PG, PG, PG. And uh, there is another Daudu, which is Adai, CD, Ali, and Engineer Salami. There are many of them that whenever we call them from diaspora, they do come down and assist the community. So we urge all others, uh, Okenwe children that they are in diaspora to try and copy what these people have been doing to the community to come down and do more because we still have many things planning ahead to look into because of our tomorrow in our community like presently we have set up a educational committee those educational committee we want them to look into our education in our community we don't want to leave everything to only the government because we especially the private sector in education we just want to make sure that at least there is some area we want to balance something to assist uh, the children within uh, our community so that they will meet up uh, of their their education so with that in that area we use this opportunity to call everyone to come to our aid so that we can have a better community in future. You know, being a retired military personnel, I have already served my country. Now, if it is for me to come down and serve my community, I don't think that I will find it difficult because formally I already be up and down during the time of uh, my military career and presently I have already you know take an oath within me and my God that I will be there to serve my community whenever they call upon me and I believe since we came down to this uh, stool or to this office that is what we have been doing every angle of our community we bring them together to have a, the same reason of direction we try to eliminate the tribalism, religionism, and every other aspect of issue that normally, normally bring uh, insecurity to the community. We try all our effort to eliminate uh, such uh, things from our community. That is why in all our daily uh, doing, we bring 
both a Christian, whether you are a pagan, whether you are a Muslim, we don't look into your uh, religions. Once we believe that you can be there and do what the community need, we'll bring you in. So for that reason, it gives us joy and because by doing so, we are getting it uh, right. There is a project we have already called uh, Association of Farmers that we want to have a palm tree farm and in this palm tree farm our plan is to make sure where we this name of Okenwe derived from formerly is Okurangwe or Okanwe which is where the red oil has been producing so we want that same name to come back to stay alive that is why we are planning in that project that uh, we are going to set up a, a palm tree farm. After we have palm tree farm, we will cry to the government or if it is any NGO to come for our assistance so that we have a machinery equipment that will produce that uh, red oil and also we will have another new market where that oil can be after the production we will be there and be selling it and we will direct the workers in that uh, f uh, production of red oil not to uh, bring uh, adulteration oil for us so that we will have a pure clean red oil from Okenwe so that every community both home and outside will be coming down here to buy red oil from Okenwe so that by doing so that name we have before as Okenwe or Okurawe will now come back to stay in Okenwe. I'm His Royal Highness Ahmed Tijani Mohamed Anajay Di Uhi of Okenwe. Your Royal Highness Ahmed Tijani Mohamed Anajay May you live long. May Allah grant you more wisdom. May your reign continue to attract better things to the people of Okenwehi. And may Allah grant you sound health to witness more fruitful years ahead. Congratulations once again on your one year on the throne.